This video will show you how to deploy Red Hat OpenShift 4.2 on your workstation in this within 10 minutes. So it all starts from the Red Hat website where you're going to be able to download the version pertinent to your operating system, macOS here, along with a pull secret that's going to be required later on. The next step involves decompressing relevant binaries. before actually deploying them where they belong. Once we've done that, we can run the CRC setup that's going to go ahead and deploy these code-ready containers leveraging HyperKit as a lightweight hypervisor. We can now run the CRC start command to which we need to feed that pull secret and give it a couple of minutes to actually execute. Once done with that, we'll now configure the OpenShift OC command line interface by running the couple of commands returned by the CRC OC env. Once we've done that, and if we go back to whatever was returned by the CRC start, you actually see this uh, couple of commands that actually allow you to authenticate as either a developer or the cube admin user. After gaining access, we can run a couple of OC commands to make sure everything looks in order. And now run the CRC console command to actually open the web console. If you ever lost your credentials to the same, you'll see that we can just go back to the command line here, willing to actually log in as the cube admin and run the CRC console double dash credential that's going to return the actual password required to authenticate. Once we're in, we now get access to the, to the dashboard that actually shows that the cluster is healthy and can even go to the list of uh, pods currently running. That's basically all for this short video covering the pure deployment aspect of, uh, of this OpenShift virtual environment. But stay tuned for more, they're gonna be geared towards the deployment of uh, IBM hybrid cloud integration software on top of the same.